and welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you are new here my name is Lily and in today's video I'm going to be talking about personal development why everyone needs to be implementing this into their life and how you can do it so that it is personal to you and you get the best results from it so we might as well just get straight into it and let me tell you a bit more about why so personal development is something that I genuinely believe that everybody needs to be implementing into their lives why because it's literally developing personally everybody needs to personally develop because nobody is perfect when we're constantly internalizing and thinking how can we best improve ourselves how can we best improve our traits how can we best improve our skills how can we best improve our belief things tend to just happen in a lot better in a more positive sense and light um, if you are a person that wants to be doing more in terms of creativity maybe you want to get yourself out there more start a youtube channel start a business i don't know start a clothing brand whatever it is it, usually the thing that's holding you back will be limiting self-beliefs which I did a video on last week so you can watch that one but the way that you're going to improve that is through personal development growing your belief is through personal development reading books trying new things all of that kind of stuff developing personally um, another thing that you can do also well another reason why I think that personal development should be implemented into everybody's day and life is because of the skill set that you grow when you do it it's genuinely personal to every single person and so it's literally just about self-reflecting on yourself how you can be the best version of yourself how you can become the person that you, that you want to be that you aspire to be in the future and how and how you're going to get there basically so how <laughs> this is why why you would do personal development because it gets you to your how. So how are you gonna implement it is quite simply self-reflecting. So you want to sort of sit down and look at all the things that you either want to change in your life, whether they're bad habits, bad traits, whatever it is, things that you're not happy with, things that hurt you. Um, you wanna kind of make a list of those things, the things that you don't like in your life that you want to change. And then you kind of want to start thinking about who you want to be, who you aspire to be, the person that you talk about where it's like, oh, don't worry, like, in my future, like, I'm just going to be, I'm going to be so fit in the future, like, I'll be so healthy, I'll be doing yoga all the time, I'll be getting up at, like, six in the morning, meditating, like, whatever it is, the person that you keep talking about in the future tense, like, oh, yeah, like, when I'm older, I'll be doing this, or, you know, I'm going to be, like, whatever it is, <laughs> I'm going to ramble on. Um, you want to make a list of all those traits and then you kind of want to think about where it is you want to go in life and like you know your goal your end goal and like what it takes to get there what you think a person that has succeeded with that goal has done what you think it takes to do that what you think they know skill wise what you think their traits are all of that kind of thing is a list that you then want to make so then you want to basically rate yourself <laughs> you want to rate yourself in the sense of like okay these are all the areas that I need and where on a scale of one to ten where am I on that on that scale so ten being like I'm a pro I know how to do it I'm good I've got that down to one being like I literally have no idea what that even is um so all of the traits that you want in life you basically want to scale from one to ten and where you are within that so let's just say for example you wanted to have your own youtube channel and you know you write your list of what you'd need so you need to be able to film you need to be comfortable in front of a camera so maybe confidence for example uh you need to be good at editing maybe you would think that you need to have a skill i don't know whatever it is make the list so let's just go with editing okay cool i need to be able to edit where am i on a scale of one to ten with editing Ugh, i'm a one i've never edited a video in my life this would be a really good place to start your personal development start you know watching videos on how to edit start filming like a little one or two minute clips of three different areas and just practice editing this is all personal development like practicing your skill set practicing your traits confidence let's say that your confidence is at like a three or four and maybe you want to get it to like a five or six before you start publishing your content again maybe read books in regards to confidence maybe just you know watch some youtube videos on tips on how to be confident or even practice and don't upload the videos so film the videos when no one else is going to see it so that you can just get used to speaking in front of a camera because 
honest to god when i first filmed my ever like my first ever youtube video it was like a welcome to my channel video it was the most awkward thing ever i had no idea how awkward literally that's the only thing i can think of how awkward it was to record and speak to a camera when no one is here practice it basically Personal development is literally practice and you can do this through watching videos, watching tutorials, reading books, all of that kind of stuff, but you want to basically implement. So whatever you're learning, you need to implement. Don't just stick to learning, learning, learning and not doing anything. You need to implement what you're learning and that is what personal development is. Learn and implement. So basically, to sum it all up, the reason that everybody needs to have personal development in their life is to progress in life regardless of what you want to do. You need to be personally developing, you need to be self-reflecting and continuously putting yourself in the mindset of, right, how can I improve? What else do I need to get better at this? What skill set am I lacking that I need to grow on? And how you're going to do that is through books, trainings, videos on YouTube, find yourself a mentor maybe, it, it all depends on what it is you want to do, but find yourself a mentor in that field. Always look to someone that has already succeeded within that area, never look to someone that has not succeeded in that area, is at the same level of you or nowhere near where you want to be in life because they don't know. Talk to the ones that know, talk to the ones that have succeeded. They're the ones that are going to be helping you. Learn and then implement. It is literally that simple. Make sure that you're self-reflecting. Make sure that you know the areas you want to learn and then implement it. Take it step by step. Do not overwhelm yourself. It really is that simple. So next week I will be back with another video and I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave a comment down below just in regards to maybe an area that you are personally developing. Maybe it's a new skill, a new hobby, whatever it is. I'd love to know. And yeah, see you next week with another video. Thanks. Bye.